Hey guys, System here, and this is FTB Stoneblock 3. Overall, having a great day. I myself, well, I am having a fantastic one. So let's kind of just push forward and uh, move back on with pack, right? So in between episodes, I have not done too much. I did do a little bit of building, though. So let's go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and go down to this room. We've got a new room here. It's called Singularity. And it's going to be where we actually set up our neutronium compressors to make singularities, basically, right? So we're actually going to start that process today. They are a little expensive, but at this point, really doesn't cost me anything. It's pretty cheap. A couple hundred neutronium blocks to make 23 of them is basically what we're going to do. And wait, we're going to go ahead and uh, automate all these ones here, kind of get them going, actually start producing, right? We're going to be using a setup. Uh, before we do that, though, I'm going to go ahead and actually automate the source gem singularity because uh, we started the process of that, I guess, early on. Uh, we have the one up by our initial, um, I guess, set up with the energizing arm that we uh, set up initially. Not this one, but the initial one. And uh, we only have like 30,000 or something, right? So we need to get that up because you need 420. So anyway, good uh, deal with that there. I tested this out too. We're going to use a different power source. I've never used this one before. The Volcanic Source Link. So this one looks pretty easy to use. I figured we'd go ahead and use this one. We need to use one of these here, an Arcane Pedestal. So let's go ahead and pop that down. Then we'll break that there. And grab ourselves an EMC Link and pop that there. And we need to go ahead and actually get a fuel source on that. And we're going to use this here, the... Uh, I'll just call this white coal because I always brutalize the name either way. Go ahead and do that. Good to uh, grab ourselves a wrench here. Go ahead and set the extract and just put the fuel in here. And that should start getting that, right? So it's actually just sitting there right now. If I go ahead and put this down now, it can actually pull it, right? So that's a pedestal. It just kind of like sits on the pedestal, right? But if, as long as I have the source link nearby, it grabs it from the pedestal and actually starts burning it, which is kind of what we want here. And I'm going to want this fuel around here relatively close to where we're going to be setting up the actual, uh, not fuel, but the source jars, relatively close to where we're going to be setting up the, what are those things called? Oh, I have a full one here too. Let's just put that one down. We're going to be setting up the actual imbuement chambers because they need to be able to be within range to actually move the power into it to make them work a little faster as well. But that'll be the initial part of it. Also, I tested with this fuel too. So this fuel here is actually every one of that it burns is enough to fill up one of these to 50%. So yeah, it's really efficient as well. So I guess that works out. Next thing we need to do is uh, set up the imbuements. And uh, I guess we need to get, uh, what is it there, amethyst into it. So let's actually dig this out for a second. Go ahead and grab you. Probably use this right here. So we'll use that cable. Come back with, uh, with these uh, train casings later on. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that. And we don't need this super fast, but maybe we'll make it fast because it doesn't matter too much. And then we'll just go ahead and grab the imbuements and pop them right here. Sweet. And they should all start getting the stuff and things, right? You see there, they're getting tons of particle effects. That means they're getting sped up by the actual source that is actually sitting there. I'll have to do an extract on that. But uh, actually, how should I extract from this? It's going to be kind of ugly no matter how I do it, isn't it? <laughs> just because I uh, how I have it laid out here. I actually don't care if this one looks good, to be honest. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, cover this part up. Here we go probably set up the same thing on the opposite side as well. How did I do that? Let's do this here. Go ahead and get you here. Do that. I just want to get the, uh, I guess, the throughput pretty decent because, like I said, we need 420,000. I may accelerate this one a fair amount too because I don't think it'll be a big deal. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get you out of here for a second. That is cool. Then I guess we need a bunch more of that cable. So we'll just do that again. Awesome. And do that. I don't think we need any acceleration on this either, although I could accelerate a little bit. Maybe just the first tier of upgrades. I was actually looking at them here, maybe the improved ones. Go ahead and grab the improved. There you go, because we don't need the top speed ones, especially when, if they're going to be accelerated. Pipes, I find, really are not a good mod to accelerate their extracts when you're using the really good upgrades. It just seems to cause instant lag. Anyway, it's definitely, definitely a thing. But anyway, let's go ahead and... Uh, Use the train casings, do that there. Go ahead and do that. And I guess all we need to do is extract. And then I'll have to do a bunch of casings to hide all that uh, actual uh, cable and stuff as well. And I guess all I'll do is run more ultimates back here and maybe underneath here into an inner chest. We'll do something like that. Let me dig this out. There you go. I think I have this pretty much the way I want it. Let's go ahead and uh, get it covered up here. That should be not too bad there. Bring that up there. Then maybe this side as well. Get it all covered up. I forgot I had to actually uh, filter these on the extract as well. So I had to go through and uh, filter every one of these with the advanced pipe upgrade. It needs to be advanced at least to actually have uh, filtering, right? So definitely, definitely something I had to do there. So I don't want to have that big dark hole down there. Place for 
I guess mobs will spawn. I guess we can't have mobs spawning. I'm just so used to kind of preventing mob spawns, right? Anyway, that is good there. Actually doesn't look too bad either, even with the pipe. So that is actually not bad at all. Did I actually get all the blocks here too? Looks like I did. And even without acceleration, it seems like it's going at a pretty good pace. So that's not too bad there. Though I am probably going to go ahead and just straight up use pedestals here. I know I have one here. Let's try it with one, kind of see how fast it is. And see if the uh, throughput's going to be, you know, decent enough, right? So I went ahead and put one right here. Accelerated that. How good is that? Not too bad. Why does this one seem like it's extracting so much? Slower. Oh, it can't keep up. Oh, I might need some more of these uh, volcanic source links. I think that is actually the main issue right here. Huh. I wonder if I'll need some more pedestals as well. Huh. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the source here. And it's this one, right? Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and grab maybe two more. There. And then we'll go ahead and grab a couple pedestals as well. And see if they can actually keep up then. Maybe because the mana just doesn't get accelerated the same, right? That could be an issue as well. But I guess it doesn't matter too much. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Do this here. They'll still be accelerated either way because they still produce even without that. But I was hoping to be able to make it uh, quite fast, right? Do that there. Do this here. Uh, actually, that's completely wrong. <laughs> It'd be the opposite of that. There you go. So we want another pedestal. Another pedestal. Source link. Source link. And then I guess we could just go ahead and grab our item pipe, right? Like that. And what are we using here? I don't think that'll matter, but we'll speed that up. Are we actually gaining mana now? We are. Oh my goodness, this thing is a light show. Look at that. That's actually going really fast, too. That's not too bad at all. Anyway, let's go check our system here real quick. Probably should have just used my wand. I can't get in the habit of using my wand. I also put these lights, you notice these lights I put around all the travel anchors. That's to make me remember to use these. Like, I can't actually keep it in my head to use these to travel around yet. I keep just flying everywhere. Anyway, we already got to about a thousand, so that's not too bad at all. And the whole time we've been producing here, we only got 23. So that'll actually probably produce pretty well. Like I said, we need 420,000, so that'll have to go non-stop here. I could go ahead and uh, throw another pedestal, but I don't know if it's actually going to speed it up that much more. I think the main thing that's slowing it down right now, it looks like it anyway, is the imported extract. It's actually not that bad. Maybe go ahead and uh, throw more, more ped. Go ahead and try it out. Go ahead, do that. Sweet, and grab one more watch. Can we make this silly? Go ahead, do that there. Maybe put that right there. And go ahead and pump you down. Let's try the double. Yeah, it seems like the import extract, that did speed it up, but it seems like the import extract seems to be the main limiting factor. I mean, I could speed that up, but at the same time, I think that's still pretty good. I may leave it like that. I don't feel a lot of lag there. I could turn off particles if I need to. But it uh, seems like it's producing very quick. So that's one more to take care of, which is uh, fantastic, right? And okay, let's go ahead and actually make our first uh, compressors here, right? I guess uh, all our compressors. We have enough here to actually do 23, right? So not too bad. Let's go ahead and just... Uh... Wait, what? How? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm going to have to look at that video. Did it... Wait, is it two per? No, it's only one per. Why did I get 43? What did I do wrong? <laughs> so apparently I did something wrong. I made way too many compressors. I guess I wasted a little bit of neutronium there, which is something I don't want to waste, but I'm going to have to look at the video and see what I did. I'm sure you guys will yell at me and tell me what I did right away, but my goodness, uh, I totally derped. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and uh, head down to Singularity and uh, get this set up. I'm still, I'm still just boggled. Like, what just happened? <laughs> I'm totally lost. Anyway, what are we doing here? We're going to set up these. So what we're going to do is uh, figure out a good spot for him. Let's grab them as well. Probably use some item transporters. Or he has a press for find links. We're going to set up these eight first. These ones are all the pure EMC ones. Uh, all these are just really simple crafting. There's nothing special at all. Except for this one, I guess. I had to smelt one thing. I had to make bile dust. And it's just smelting down the soul soil. So anyway, I got that made up. And uh, it's just cheap EMC either way. So we're going to end up with a bunch of drawers, right? So the drawers will kind of like sit somewhere like this. Actually, do I want to do it like this? Oh, I might change this. I didn't think about that. Let's go ahead and get these out of here. Yep. You know, I'll be able to pipe out of these cleaner if I do, the, do it this way. Go ahead and do this here. These will be covered up anyway. So I don't even know why I have these here in the first place. So anyway, let's go ahead and get them out of there. That is good. 
And now I'm thinking of it too, that side there is probably going to be different as well. Anyway, I'm, I'm just changing things on the fly. Let's do that. Let's get you out of here as well. There we go. And move you. There you go. So this will be the side with the storage door. This one here, I guess, will be where all the drawers sit. So these are just custom drawers, right? So I'll just use the frame drawers as usual. We'll have 23 of these set up and ready to go, right? Because there's 27 singularities. You don't have to set up one for every singularity, but uh, I am as well. I'm rich and uh, I just want to do that. Then we'll have two extras, right? So I guess we'll have one here. You know, that there. Actually, I really like these drawers. I think they turned out really nice. I wish I thought about Cyan earlier on. I probably would have built with it more. I think it's just a nice, really bright, cheerful color here, right? Anyway, that is good there. Then once we have that, I guess uh, I need some placement blocks, but the uh, way we'll have it. These uh, neutronium compressors are a little weird too. So they have to be, uh, you have to pipe the items into them from the top, I believe, if I remember correctly. Anyway, that is good there. Uh, it's gonna be a little weird doing this now. Now I need placement blocks. Maybe that's why I had that row of blocks down. Maybe I was aware of this. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter too much. This is the front of them, so I want to have them face this way. Come into our bag here. Might be able to rotate this with a crescent wrench. There you go. Crescent wrenches are magic for just rotating things. Anyway, those ones are set up there. Then we'll end up with a, I guess, uh, what you call it here? A storage controller. Go ahead and uh, hunt that down. I think I have one of those here somewhere. Right there. That is good. Then we'll have that uh, be the central point that I could just uh, hook a storage bus to. So let's go ahead and uh, get that kind of in the place that'll end up, right? So it'll end up somewhere like that right there. Actually, would that end up there? I don't think that would end up there. I mean, it's fine, but it should be on the same level of the drawers, right? Makes more sense. Let's go ahead and put it down there. Go into our bag here. Need a leaky tool and a configuration tool. And then I guess we'll link that up there. to get all the drawers kind of linked up to that actual storage controller. Have this on single mode right now. So I guess I have to do it one at a time because I'm too lazy to switch, especially when I have single ones right there. But once they're linked up, we just right click, get them all locked because uh, that's the way we want it. And uh, effectively, we're ready to actually make our first singularity, right? So let's go ahead and drop some stuff off here. Still don't know how I get this. I, I really need to check that video. Anyway, so the way I'll be moving the items from the compressors to the drawers will be with these here. I'm going to use uh, some of these item transporters. Uh, uh, it's just the way everyone used to do it. I want to do it the retro way. So we're going to do it like that there. And then we're going to go ahead and grab... What else do we need here? We're going to need the EMC links. I already have them. Then I guess I need our eight items too. So there's going to be eight that we set up initially. But I'm going to do one row and it's seven. So grab everything here, right? That, 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 and that. Then I'm going to come back here. Probably have to break all these blocks. <laughs> After, I guess, uh, breaking my setup initially. And then I guess we'll just grab the EMC links. So we'll go ahead and grab them. Put one right there. And we'll do our first one, right? And the way I'll go ahead and pipe these in here, probably just a uh, basic item pipe, because why not? Do that. And I guess we have to set what's going to go in there. Then set the extract and probably accelerate that, right? Uh, do I have ultimates? Actually, do I even need ultimates for this? We won't be accelerating this, so I'll use ultimates. So let's do that. And if we actually look inside that thing, nothing's happening, which is exactly what we want. I already just told you things have to come through the top. And for some reason, I'm not putting it through the top. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this here. Do that and that. There we go. Items have to come through the top of these. Don't ask me why. It's just the way it works. We can see it's uh, coming in there now. We go ahead and throw add-ons on these two to actually make these faster. I can't remember which add-ons I actually take, so let's actually grab that, that, and that. Can it take the efficiency? I think I have to put on the extract to make it faster. So it takes efficiency, takes speeds. It does not take processing. We can see there it's going really fast now. It's filling that up. These machines are a little weird too. They only process one thing at a time, no matter how fast you put things into them, right? So it kind of like ticks up. But once that gets to 4,000, we'll actually get our first singularity here. And uh, that's how easy singularities are. But yeah, we have this little waterfall thing going on, which is pretty cool. We've got uh, a bunch more of these set up here. So let's go ahead and uh, start working on those. So I should be able to just do these real fast now, right? So we'll do that one. Then we'll grab the node overclockers. Then we'll grab the nether stars. Then we'll grab the palette and brush. This one had a weird recipe too. Well, it was kind of weird. Yeah, you had to do this. Then you had to convert the actual circuits. Then this, yeah, it's a really weird recipe. But uh, really cheap at EMC is like 78 EMC, so that is one. Mob filters, and then Enderium blocks. There you go. It's, uh, we're making singularities here in mass, which is actually pretty cool. That one won't take long at all, actually. Look at that. That's actually fantastic. Let's go ahead and uh, speed that up, too. Which one was it not taking? 
That's the speeds, it's processing. So it wasn't taking those, right? So we right click that on, that on. Look how fast that goes. It just looks amazing. Just the, that waterfall effect is pretty cool. Don't know how much uh, lag it's gonna make, right? But uh, we kind of gave up on lag in our world, right? Is that actually going in there? Yeah, it is, okay. <laughs> Good, uh, speed this one up. There you go. And that one as well, right? There you go. And uh, do we have a singularity yet? Not yet, we're getting close. This one might be done, actually. We already have 10 of these. Look at that, man. That's actually really cool. These ones only take 64, right? So it doesn't take much time. These things here, I don't have to speed up at all, but uh, we'll kind of, let's go ahead and uh, come across here and just uh, start pumping them in, hopefully. And they're all locked, so I'll have to put one in manually, I suppose. But after that, I won't have to do that anymore, right? So let's grab a singularity. There you go. There's our first one. And this one, is it done yet? Nope. Is this one done yet? Nope. How many of those do you need? You need 10,000 of these. So this one's gonna take a little bit of time to produce. I didn't realize it was that high, but I mean, it's free either way, so I guess it doesn't matter. That one takes eight? Really, 8,000 nether stars, eh? This one here takes 20,000 node overclockers. These are actually relatively expensive in any other pack, right? But in this pack, it's just uh, EMC, so 33,000. And these ones here are six, and these ones here are four. So yeah, I'll have to get them all filtered, but uh, we effectively have our first singularity here really easily, which is not too bad. I think we have one more that could be AMC too. Yeah, this one here, the corrupted ingot. So let's go ahead and get that one done. So there we have all the ones that actually just require EMC set up and good to go. So there's only eight of those out of the 23, right? So those ones there are all set up and uh, they are pretty rad all around. Finally got one of those as well. Some of these are gonna take a little bit of time, I guess. Yeah, that one was the 20, this one was like 21. Yeah, 21,000 for the mob filters, 10,000 for them. Why is this one 10,000 and this one 20? Like who mapped that out? <laughs> this one's gonna cost more EMC. But you only need 10,000 of these uh, pallet of brushes. Anyway, pretty weird, but uh, pretty cool the other way. Seems to be working quite well, actually, as well. Uh, we need to go ahead, I guess, and uh, set up these ones here. These ones will actually be really easy to set up, but uh, which one should I do right away? Let's go ahead and just do one, kind of show you how it's going to be done. I may go ahead and do the rest, right? Uh, I know, I'll do this one first, actually. Let's go ahead and grab the Emerald Cluster. I'd like to get those out of my system either way. These ones here, I'll probably just export, actually. It'd probably be the easiest way to do it, so... Go ahead and grab ourselves a exporter, right? Go ahead and get a one of those. And we'll probably just export that directly into the back of this. Because, oh no, it has to go top, right? We knew that. I keep telling you that. Go straight in the top. Guess the cabling's gonna be a little dorky up here, but nothing I can do about that. Go ahead and grab some cable, because uh, we've got two billion. And uh, we are just crazy like that. Let's come down that way. How am I gonna hide that cabling? Oh, I'm gonna totally redo that cabling. That is unacceptable. <laughs> How am I going to do that? I need to hide that cabling. If I go straight up, it won't work. I may have to put a block across here. Yeah, if I do that, then I can go up above. Yeah, this is me being me, just having to hide things. So yeah, I'll probably end up doing that at some point. But uh, yeah, that's going to bother me. Actually, I'll do, I'll just move these two blocks forward one. That'll actually still look good, right? Yeah, because we still have the, I guess, the depth right there. But anyway, I'll go ahead and run it above right now. So I think I got this the way I want here, but I have this set to uh, three speeds and a stack upgrade. And uh, it's just producing these singularities now really easily. Already got one of them. Just need to go ahead and uh, move this into here, right? So let's do that. There you go, we have them automated as well. These ones here, did I get any more? I got the palette of brush, so I'll go ahead and get that one filtered. I already got a nether star, get that one. Got ourselves not one of those yet. Got ourselves a infused ender pearl. That is fantastic as well. And I moved this ahead too, so, so it kind of make it look a little better as well. So actually quite happy with how it turned out here. Not too bad, but I still need to go ahead and uh, set up another nine of these, right? So I need to do nine more, but it should be pretty easy to do at this point. So basically what I'm gonna do at this point, now that we have the one exporter, just go ahead and bring them across, connect them all to this one cable. Probably end up doing it in the center because that actually makes more sense, I guess, with the cabling, but uh, for right now, it's uh, looking pretty good. I think it'll actually look pretty snazzy when it's done, right? And it's all about the snazz. When you're actually building and actually doing your base in Minecraft, in modern Minecraft anyway, it has to be all about the snazz. If your base isn't snazzy, then the neighbors will talk and uh, you just, yeah, it's just it's a good time for anyone. So I think I have all these singularities all set up and ready to go. So they're all pretty much configured here. So we have a lot of singularities now. I need to go ahead and uh, probably pick all these up too. So some of them I didn't pick up. I just unlocked the drawers and let them flow forward. So... Anyway, see if we can get some other kind of quests done here. But uh, yeah, we got uh, 18 done, I think, is what we're at. Well, not 18 done, but 18 being produced, right? So 
we have uh, a bunch of them done that we did not have previously, right? The last five, I guess the last five, one is the pig iron, so we need to deal with them. But before we do pig iron, we're going to do uh, coagulated blood. This one here you need a ton of, too. I think it's like 840,000 for this one, right? But you kind of double up when you produce it, too, right? So you get it, and then you double it up, and then you're good to go in that regards. But, uh, yeah, definitely going to have to deal with that one. Then there's also, I guess we already have urinite, but I'm not actually going to pump urinite in here yet. Just because I don't want to be burning our fuel while we're, you know, using our fuel, right? So I'm going to wait until we have the 420,000. Polonium, polonium is probably going to be our very last one we work on. But we also have mana steel and we have the thurial slates, right? I guess this one's done too. I can pull that one off. But that is uh, that is how you do the compressing, right? So pretty cool. Pretty happy this room too. I think it actually turned out pretty rad. And uh, I guess we're done down here for now. We'll have to come back here with some blocks and uh, kind of clean this up and stuff. But... Pretty good all around. So let's go ahead and uh, get something else here. So let's go ahead and actually work on tickers here. Tickers is going to make it so we can actually get to our coagulated blood. So we can actually automate the, uh, what is it called there? The pig iron. There's actually two recipes to do this too, right? So there's one with a mixer or an induction smelter. So that takes the blood, iron, and clay. Then there's another one where it's an alloy, right? So we go to the casting table again. Where's that at? Right here. Then you go to alloying. You can also do one with uh, molten iron. Then blood and uh, honey. But I don't want to have to deal with blood and honey. So I'm just going to do it uh, one of the other ways. I haven't decided which way yet. I may do mixers because it would just be cooler. Anyway, that is good there. Uh, we need to get everything we need. So we're going to need a heater. What is this thing here? No, I guess the seared melter. It's not a heater at all. Go ahead and grab ourselves a seared melter. There you go. I think we need a heater for the quest. I saw that even though I'm not going to use it. Grab ourselves a heater here. Then we need a casting table, I think. And then we'll probably need some drains as well. Just uh, one recipe of the drains. Go ahead and grab you. That is good. We just need to do a little tiny setup here to kind of make it so we can get uh, what you call there the uh, seared smeltery. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called or the smeltery controller. I forget what it's called. Either way, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and grab four copper. Go ahead and grab that. You can power this thing two ways too. You could use this or the seared tank. So I could use this with, uh, I guess, coal, right? So let's go ahead and grab some coal here. You go. That's one way to power this melter. The other way would be put a tank under it, and then I guess I could give it lava, right? So let's go ahead and uh, put that in there. That'll smelt that down. Then I guess we need a casting basin. So let's go ahead and grab that. Then I guess we'll need a drain as well. We need uh, one more copper in there as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Once that's uh, all smelted up, we just kind of cast this off, and then we'll have a controller here. Oh, we need uh, some of the bricks as well. All oh, these two are really easy kind of craft, so you just do that there. But you get some as rewards anyway, so it doesn't even matter. And they all have EMC. So anyway, so I have uh, two billion of them. Do that. Maybe grab two stacks. We need one in here, then we just cast off, right? And that'll be our smelter controller, right? So that is the first step. Then we never have to use this thing again, which is fantastic. Also, did we kind of finish off this quest? What else did we did here? I actually have to make a cast, really. I'll have to make a cast at some point, too. I don't even want to cast. <laughs> anyway. Uh, can I make cast really easy? Let's just grab you and that right there. This will actually make a cast, I think, right? So let's do that. Grab ourselves a table as well. And this is just to finish off the quest here. Just need a single brick. I have one right here. That is fantastic. Then cast that off. And then I'll have cast. It's nice that little bar, that little progress bar. I like that. So anyway, that is good there. Then we're going to head over to the boiler. I have a room kind of set up over here. And uh, we're going to start working on building our smeltery. It is a multi-block. Really easy to kind of set up. I'm going to make it a 4x5. You can go pretty big with this thing. Like super tall. I don't know the height or like the max size of them at all. But um, you can definitely go very big with them. But we don't need that. we got tech acceleration. So we're just going to go with 4x5 for this room. Just so it fits in the space where I kind of wanted to have it fit in, right? So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, dig this out. That looks good. And we'll just kind of come across here. Probably just one that too for all that matters. Sweet and sweet. Then we'll just bring this up to the ceiling as well. So that'll handle that part. We're gonna have to get the lava into this thing too, I guess. But I guess we should get the uh, controller in here. There you go. Then I think you need to have a tank in it for to actually multi block. But we're gonna move the tank anyway. Uh, the way we're gonna do lava is gonna be a little weird too. So I'll kind of show you that there. We could use something like a Magma Crucible, I guess, because, well, uh, I mean, we have infinite power infinitely. Uh, basically, I should say. Not infinite, <laughs> infinitely. Anyway, I don't know what I just said. So we'll come across here. We're going to go ahead and grab a tank. 
pop it right here. Then we're going to grab one of those drains from Crate, right? Go ahead. One of these ones? Yeah, let's... Oh, I have it right there. Let's go ahead and grab you. Pop that probably up here. Then grab ourselves a Compressium ceiling and pop that probably one higher. Here you go. Hopefully. Let's go right here. Then what we need to do is actually pipe a bucket of lava in here. Kind of infinitely, right? Uh, let's go ahead and put that there. Go into here and grab us a item pipe. I think this needs to go into the side. Where's the top? I guess we'll see right away. Oh, it has to go to the side, so let's do that. Hopefully I can target that too. Of course, we got everything in our way. Out my way, man. There you go. And I guess we just need to uh, set the extract. So let's grab some kind of wrench here. Do uh, that. And basically what this thing does is puts the bucket on. So it puts a bucket on, it drains it, then it throws it in the world. So we're going to need a trash can as well. So I have one of those already. And we'll just set that to uh, void off the trash cans because honestly, I don't care about them. Well, we want white lust and a bucket. So I handle that. So that part's taken care of. And that should be our lava. Except for, I guess, we need to pipe out of the bottom of this as well. So let's grab a fluid pipe right here. And then I guess we'll just get a wrench again. And that's effectively done. Cool. I may come back and uh, speed that up, but it doesn't matter. So the way we're going to get blood, look at blood here. There's a couple ways of doing it, right? So I guess you go to Cassie table. shows you get blood from here. You can smelt down mobs, right? So that's one option, right? So you can smelt down chickens as well. But uh, for every heart of damage, you get uh, 25 millibuckets. 50 for a chicken, I guess is what it is. Uh, the other option, I think, is melting. So you can use heads, right? And this is the way I'll probably end up doing it. The zombie head is 256 EMC. I just don't have one right now. The option I'm going to use right now, until I have a zombie head, I have to get a cleaver and get a zombie head, is uh, rotten flesh. So rotten flesh is actually super easy. So that would be the way we do that. I want to get ourselves a shoot as well, I think it's called. Shoot, one of them. This is for piping items into the smeltery. You can do it through the controller, but there's no point uh, using up the space if you don't have to. And let's do that there. Grab ourselves a compressed EMC link, because we're obsessed with them. Go ahead and grab a item pipe. And I guess we'll throw the rod and flush in here. And just set the extract on that as well. And we should start getting this stuff. Oh, also, how did I get a seared stone in there? I need to cast that off. Go ahead and uh, cast that off. Oh, that's not a drain system. <laughs> Go ahead and get us a drain in here, too. Because it doesn't actually do anything until we get a drain in here. So, sear drain. That there. That. And cast off that seared stone. I just don't need that in there. But we're getting the blood in there now. So, that's what we're going for. And basically, we just need to kind of get this into this form here, right? Coagulated blood. Now, we're going to do it a different way, right? So, I'm actually going to get these here, these blood blocks. Just because one of these is worth nine of the coagulated blood. The way you do that is uh, you basically got to make a congealed blood block. Then you cast more blood on top of that. And the way you get the congealed is, well, it's just four slime balls in the basin. So I'll just get the compressed ones and then we'll just uncraft them later when we have to use them, right? So it just seems like a better way of doing it, basically. Uh, get rid of that liquid. Probably grab like eight of these for now. You know what? Let's uh, yeah, let's start with eight. See how many we actually need. I'm not sure how many we actually need for the basins. And then we don't need the drain, so let's get rid of you. And we'll end up uh, pulling everything out of here. Really? Why can't I target things right now? Being a little weird with the targeting. It's like it thinks my body's in the way, even though it's not. There you go. Then we'll just go ahead and uh, start pulling that in there, which is fantastic. Probably grab ourselves some upgrades as well. Just grab the ultimates. We. Probably just go ahead, use one right here. Make that fast. Muscle will make that fast as well, because it doesn't hurt anything. Same as that. Go ahead and speed them all up for no reason. So I can see it's already cast off once. I think it's already done the second stage there. So this is what we're going for here, the blood blocks. The way I'm going to filter this too is going to be a little lazy. Since we have, uh, we're going to have to do eight exports. I don't want to have to set uh, eight filters. So what I'm going to do is just use a drawer to do the filtering for us for all eight of them. So I think it seems like a really easy way to do it. Go ahead and grab a configuration tool. Probably lock that puppy. And basically, we are already pretty much done. So what we have to do now, I guess, is just get into the system. So what I should do, actually, before we do anything, is grab you. Uh, grab you. Can I have one of you? There you go. Go over here. Set this into a drawer. And go ahead and head back to the boiler. And we just need to set up all our extracts, right? I'll probably do this like underneath too, just so it's kind of out of the way. So yeah, we'll just move it to the drawer. Then after it's moved to the drawer, we'll just move it to um, a um, 
what should we call it, an inter, inter chest, right? That'll be the kind of end of it. I'll just do something like this here. Sweet. And then we'll have to set up all the extracts. And we already got 15, which is not too bad. And I guess we just need an ender chest. This will be all hidden anyway, right? So let's do that. Pop you down. Sweet. And then I guess we'll just do an extract here. And uh, that's good. That's effectively done, right? So that should be uh, actually going in there, hopefully. Getting any blood in there? I guess we have to wait, right? It's not going that fast. Yeah, that's good. Either way. It's doing the thing. Just make sure everything's working. Oh, I just rotated that. Oh, did I break this? No, it looks like it's working. Cool. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and accelerate this right now. So we'll just go to a pedestal. Go ahead and grab ourselves a dark matter. I'll probably do it like right here. I think you have to speed up the controller to make this thing faster too. Then we'll go ahead and grab ourselves a watch. Do that. But I also want it on all these basins as well, of course, right? Looks like I have one of the uh, extracts derped. What's going on here? Why you no pull? Actually, why doesn't that one pull? Oh, there you go. Why does it feel like that one's not being... I mean, we're probably just not getting enough blood, are we? Yeah, that's all it is. We're just not getting enough blood. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of these sounds here. There you go. We need the casting cool gone and the casting collects. Both of them gone. There you go. That is way better. Way, way better. It's going way faster now, too. I forgot to put a uh, ultimate pipe upgrade in this here. But now that I've done that, it can stay full of the rod and flesh, no problem. I did make it, uh, I think, three more tall as well. So it's actually quite tall there. But uh, that just makes it so it got to fit more ingots, right? So it can actually fit 1,440 at a time and kind of smelt that down. Still have a couple of cobblestone in there, I guess, from digging it out as well. But uh, look at it go, man. Now, if I was using heads, this would be way less busy because it would fill up the tank, I think. Actually, it would uh, fall behind on the blood, but we're getting blood really, really fast now. So we actually go ahead and look at our blood. Check that out real quick. We already have uh, 1.2K. You need to multiply that by 9 to get the actual number. So we actually have uh, over 10,000, which is fantastic. Like I said, we need about, I think about the blood, I think we need about 420,000. The actual ingots themselves, we need about uh, 840, I think it is. So yeah, we need a ton of these, but uh, we need a ton of the blood. So it actually works out either way. So we're going to get this all polished off here. It's uh, pretty much finished up, which is not too bad. Probably leave it at this speed too. Honestly, don't know if I'm going to bother with the heads. By the time I get the heads, I think, I mean, I think I only need close to 50,000 of these blocks. So I don't really see much point to it. I mean, we already have how much blood now? So look at that. We're already at almost 4k. So I don't even see a point of using the heads. Just going to go ahead and power through it with the uh, rod and flush. So that works out and uh, is pretty sweet. And then I guess down here too, our singularities are being hammered out as well. Some of them are actually going up quite quickly. Some of them are still waiting on things like this one here. I know I'm going to run out. Yeah, we're already out of jelly babies, but they'll build up over time. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, definitely, definitely coming together, right? So the pack has come together. That is my back. This is my front. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. As always, guys like this video, please hit that like button. Really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. See you guys in the next video. Later.